Uh, I'm Pastor Chris. We are glad that you've taken time out of your weekend to come and just be part of the great things we have going on here at Glory Baptist Church. One of the things we do is we are a church that loves to support missions. And we've got lots of stuff going on, and we're going to get to that in just a second here. But lots of special events and special things going on from the tree out in the lobby where we're collecting for the remainder of this month and into November scarves, hats, mittens, gloves, those sorts of things. They're going to be sent into a couple of different uh, directions. Some of them will be going to the Ukraine, and Maddie will be up here telling us about some of that in a little minute. And then some of it's going to go here domestically to a couple of different ministries here in the region. And so just a chance for you to partner with us on that. There's a bunch of other stuff in the bulletin, and I'll, I'll do a few more details in a little bit. But I just want to remind you of the great missions opportunities that we have here. It's everything from going and actually traveling to the other side of the globe, to our benevolence giving. Next Sunday is a, a communion Sunday, so we will have a, a benevolence giving, and we use that to just bless people who have times of need or just to be a, a blessing to them at times. And uh, everything to Christmas gifts. We've got Operation Christmas Child boxes that are starting to come in, and those are out at the Welcome Center if you want to be part of that. And then, as I was beginning to say, the other thing we do is when we give direct support to people to go, particularly on short-term missions trips, one of the things, and you can come on up here, Maddie. One of the things we generally ask them to do is, uh, if we're sponsoring them and helping them go, is uh, if they would come and just kind of give us a, a summary, a report of their experience of what they did, what they saw, and where they were. And uh, this is Maddie Pearson. If you don't know Maddie, um, uh, Maddie's long-term lifetime association with our church. They now live over in north of uh, Baxter Brainerd area, and they're part of the Journey North Church over there. But uh, her mom, Jenny, used to be our, our office admin and long, long, like I said, ties to our church. And so when Maddie said, hey, uh, would you help us out? We said, absolutely, we'd love to help send you over to the Ukraine. And she's going to tell you all about that. And so I don't want to steal anything she might share. So this is Maddie, and uh, if you would give your attention to her here. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> um, First, I would like to thank you for um, your support and your prayers for my trip to Ukraine. Um, we went and we flew to um, Kiev and then on to Uman, Ukraine, which is where we did our missionary work, with our daughter church, Resurrection Church. Um, when we arrived, I was introduced to my host family um, and my translator. Um, so. We have Olya, my translator, Sasha, Svieta, his wife, and then myself and a team member, Miranda. Um, so, um, the first Sunday we were there, Resurrection Church um, was regularly um, filling their entire, they're filling their church. And so, one of the things we were able to do was help them figure out how to have a double service. Um, so, it was a really cool thing to help them do is that a church fills itself so much that it has to have two services on a Sunday. Um, the next, that next week, we hosted a kids camp. Um, that's me and a little boy. We, we, I helped with the games for their kids camp, um, playing tag. I, I got roped into being a monkey for one of the games. <laughs> uh, or they say a mafba. <laughs> uh, so that was an amazing experience. The kids would line up outside the door waiting to come in hours ahead of time. It was so crazy. We, we had um, 165 kids by the end of the week coming. Um, at the end, we hosted a community night where members of the community could come and um, we did face painting and games, um, cookie decorating, and it really is a huge outreach event for the community because the church, Resurrection Church, shows them how much they care for the community. Um, then um, that Saturday, uh, there's our puppets. Um, they would act out and tell the story, the Bible story of the day. <laughs> um, and a big, a big thing in Ukraine, um, in Uman especially, I guess, but it's balloons. We, we bring a ton of balloons over every every time because they love balloons. I have no idea why. <laughs> um, so that's one, that's one thing we did was we could come and they would do worship and, um, and play with balloons. <laughs> uh, 
Then that one Saturday, we were able to redo a park in the area because one of one of the things that we went over there to do was help Resurrection Church plant a daughter church in Newman, Ukraine. So there was a park nearby the church, the new church building, Reconciliation Church's new building, and we it was totally ruined. So one of the things we were able to do is to re- redo their park. Um, we spent a Saturday doing that. Here it is finished. With we had new swings, a round of what is it? Playground equipment, um, and then. One of the things that I'm really excited about is that I and Miranda, I introduced you to her earlier, we had some extra money from your donations. And so what we were able to do is we were able to help the church do some um, fixing up. Recon- um, Resurrection Church, the daughter church we visited, um, were able to had remodeled their bathrooms so that they had three toilets. But they didn't have enough money to put in the stalls. The entrance to the bathrooms is outside. And so the ladies would be waiting in lines after church services. The weather in Ukraine is pretty similar to Minnesota. And so in the winter, it was going to be pretty cold. (laughs) Um, So we were able to um, provide them with enough money to finish and add their stalls. so that was one of the big, one of the big things we were able to do with th- your donations. Um, I'd really like to thank you for praying for me and um, supporting our our trip and our daughter church resurrection church. Thank you. And thank you, Maddie. Um, Maddie, if you don't know, is a teenager, and uh, we want to encourage all of our teens to to be adventurous as she was, to go out into the world and to share her faith and to explore and to learn and to grow, and and to have those opportunities is a wonderful thing. And so uh, we're we're glad that Maddie was was willing to ask for our assistance and uh, that we are willing and able to give that assistance. If, if you or anyone you know is uh, going on a missions trip, a short-term missions trip, and is looking for some sort of support, we continually have opportunities to support people in that end. And so uh, contact uh, primarily our point person is Ruth Eggstead as our missions chair, but you can get a hold of myself as well. Ruth is going to say something to that extent. Um, yeah, we really are, we're really winding down our Ukraine packaging that's going to be going. We're going to be turning in the numbers this week. So if you have any last minute things, we do have a little bit of space that we could put put some things into boxes. So <clears throat> just a last little push, not too much, but if you have a few things, that would be great. Also, um, I'd list, like to just comment about Resurrection Church in Uman. Um, one of the couples that is very active in that church is a product of your prayers and your donations through the years. Yuri is, um, Yuri Apolyarush is um, the son of one of the uh, deacons at Chilyaki. And he has been, he and his wife um, have been really heavily, heavily involved in music ministry there and have been very, very involved in the outreach from that church. So uh, you can see, really, I mean, this is just an ongoing process. God is working through um, the things that we've done since 1999 when we went, and even from before. So I just want to encourage you to, um, if you do have a heart at all for going, um, we do have funds available for short-term missions, and we would love to help you with your with your ministries. So, with that, 